What's up, Internet? It's Sunny, and today we're talking about cultural appropriation again. Yes, this is part two of cultural appropriation. The first time it was about hairstyles and how they accused Jeremy Lin of cultural appropriating black culture by having dreads, and he's a Chinese person. And the person that called him out had Chinese letters tattooed on his body. Yes, the left is not very self-aware, but they're not self-aware again when it comes to cultural appropriation. Now, you may have heard the news that they accused Bruno Mars of cultural appropriating black music. As far as I'm concerned, music came from Africa. It has evolved into lots of different types of music, like classical. Everything, I think, derived out of Africa when it comes to music. So, does that mean that no one can enjoy music? I mean, of course there's, you know, you have your hip-hop culture, and then you have your rock culture, and then you have, you know, whatever type of music you listen to. Me, myself, you would never guess that I love, like, this... I don't know what you call it, I guess EDM type of techno-y video game remix music. I love it. I love listening to it when I work out. That is like my jam. I listen to it all the time. So just because I listen to that music, does that mean that I'm cultural appropriating white culture? No. Music is for everyone to enjoy. And then another thing that I don't understand when it comes to cultural appropriation is food. There was someone who got offended because they served fried chicken. Can you imagine being a white person, right? You're white. Just pretend if you're not white, just pretend that you're white, okay? And you're invited to this event. They're like, oh, welcome to the event, okay? We're gonna have dinner first. On the menu is southern fried chicken. Mm. Nice and crispy on the outside and nice and tender and juicy on the inside. Perfection. And for sides, you have slow-cooked collard greens and macaroni and cheese with a little bit of sweet potatoes with those marshmallows on top. Mm. And then the icing on the cake, you have a slice of sweet, sweet diabetic cornbread with a glass of Texas sweet tea. Mm. You're like, oh yeah, this event's gonna be lit. I'm gonna fall asleep after I eat this food like no 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 not for you because you're white you can't enjoy this delicious food because that's cultural appropriation you'd be a little mad if you won't be able to eat that good food I'm thinking about it right now and I'm like kind of hungry now food is not cultural appropriation if they were holding an event called Negro Day and they served fried chicken and watermelon yeah that would be a little offensive but if it's just food for people to enjoy, go right ahead. Even if it's during Black History Month, it's not to say that, oh, this is a stereotype and we hate black people, so we're gonna serve you this delicious food. No, people like fried chicken. People like watermelon. People like Chinese food. People like Hawaiian food. There was um, some people that wanted to start their own Hawaiian barbecue place, but they got it shut down. SJW's got it shut down because they thought it was cultural appropriation. I will link it down below. That is a thing. They got their, this, prob this probably was someone's hopes and dreams, their, their, their goals in life to open this restaurant. They probably spent some time in Hawaii, you know, studied the cuisine, you know, did all the research into opening up a business, but no, SJWs had to go and ruin that for them. It is absolutely insane that we have come to this point to where we just can't enjoy music and food. That's like the two things that we have besides like video games. And they're trying to take that away from us too. Video games, music, and food. But that's not really cultural appropriation with the video games. They're trying to take stuff away from us and we can't let them have it. We have our things we need to eat. And sometimes I can like food from another culture. I'm gonna eat that food, I don't care what you say. And sometimes I like music that comes from another culture. You know what, I am black, obviously. But you know what, I'm not African. So if you call me African-American, I reject that, honestly. You can call me African-American for PC or whatever because it's like the normal thing to do. I won't say nothing. But if you constantly call me African-American, I'm gonna be like, stop, no, I'm not African. 
my parents aren't African, my great-grandparents aren't African, well, I skipped my grandparents. My grandparents aren't African, my great-grandparents aren't African, even my great-great-grandparents aren't African. So no, I'm not African. I'm just an American. But I do enjoy African music. Now, is that cultural appropriation? Did I appropriate culture when I dressed up as Ugandan queen? Did I? No. It's just a meme. It's a joke. It's, it's, it's cool. They even go for our memes. Everyone was kind of, not everyone, but some people were triggered by Ugandan knuckles because they thought it appropriated Ugandan culture. Do you think the people of Uganda really care if we use knuckles from Sonic as a meme? They don't. Just spoiler. They don't. They don't care. To these butthurt SJWs and far left liberals, stop ruining good things because you want to virtue signal for other people's behalf. If you want to wear your hair in dreadlocks because you're and you're a white person, go right ahead. If you want to eat delicious fried chicken and you're a white person or Asian person, whatever the case, go right ahead. And if you are a, a, a white person and you want to listen to black music because let's face it, everyone does. Everyone does. Every white person. Not, well, not everyone, but a lot of white people listen to hip hop, hip hop culture and hip hop music. I swear, I was looking at a hip hop concert like footage, and I think it was Lil Wayne or Future. I can't remember who it was. Honestly, I don't really listen to mainstream hip hop, but it was full, full of white people. Yeah, there were some black people sprinkled here and there but the majority of the audience was white. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did you hear about Bruno Mars and how they were accusing him of cultural appropriation? Or uh, did you also hear about the, when people got mad that they served fried chicken at uh, some type of event? I don't know, I'll link it down below like I said. Uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, what is your favorite cultural appropriating food? Mine is Chinese food, you know, Asian food. I really like Vietnamese food too. Get some pho or pho, whatever you want to call it. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Right Wing Sister. My Discord is down below, but uh, it's dead. So I'm usually in Glory Gamers. So uh, it's actually called Glory Hole Gamers, but I'm gonna call it Glory Gamers. So yeah, check out that Discord too. I'm always there. So thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll go do the same. Bye.